Um, so hi all, this is me, Fee, and every day, the action day, and today is no different. We are going to take a look at one of my current uh, favorite songs uh, so far of 2023. Uh, that would be uh, Nizu with uh, Paradise, uh, which is their, first, uh, their fifth single. Uh, if you have not seen my uh, previous uh, reactions to the song, uh, as again, please go take a look uh, because you will know, you'll find out and you'll know uh, how much I actually like the song. So I'm going into this uh, live performance by them. This could be one of your first few live performances for the song, uh, Paradise. And I can't wait to go in to find out uh, how good the choreo is and how they are going to translate the choreo from the MV in uh, onto stage themselves. And of course, uh, to see uh, the members uh, live as well. Yeah, this is... I have a feeling this is going to be really good and uh, I could be a bit biased, but yeah, this is going to be it. So uh, as I said again, uh, leave us a quick like um, for uh, more content like this. Yeah, okay, go on. Zooming in. Okay, this is Soko. They are starting out with like a top view, like a top down view, uh, which will show some formations, I guess. Uh, this is one of the cool uh, uh, scenes from the MV. Uh, which shows off a formation from the top and uh, sh and it makes uh, pretty shapes and uh, uh, it make it just makes the choreo looks uh, much uh, more unique and nicer. Yeah, okay, let's go, let's go. Uh, let me check if I got the volume up properly. Yes. Okay, we got to remind the center and uh big thing first uh, as we are they are wearing pristine uh, white uh they just look awesome yeah i got marco we got rio mayuka i just like the flowy uh, uh, formation. This is one of the the big things. It's not that the choreo is overly uh, uh is overly complicated or something, but there is a meaning to it, and there's a flow to what they are doing, and uh, they are doing it as a group, and it it just use uh like the like the dancing means something. Yeah, if you uh if you get what I'm saying. Go Maya. Oh, okay, let me raise the volume a little bit. Uh, the, the sound quality is not the greatest, but at least we get to see Nizu uh, uh, live on stage. Oh, uh, okay, they are wearing black boots or black shoes for some of them. We got Rima. Oh, now Ayaka in the center. Getting her member shine a little bit. Okay, so uh, the thing is that we don't get to see Ayaka so much, so it is nice that we get to see her uh, in, uh, like even for a few seconds, it's nice. Okay, the funny thing is that I see uh, Riku now, but her hair is not uh, light pink or light purple or whatever that color is. Now it's back to being uh, kind of blonde. Mm, is that for the Korean comeback or something? Or for the Korean debut, I mean, it could be. Yeah, because her hairstyle, uh, her hair color is not the same. Oh, Marco. I love this part of the song where it builds up. Mihi. With the strong vocals as always. It's the double strong vocals. And after listening to the song uh, quite non-stop for the last one, uh, uh, for the last day, mm, I realized I like the second verse even more. Yeah, there's something about the musicality in the second verse that I like. 
yeah which uh, they didn't make it very regular uh, that is one of the parts that they kind of change it's like uh instead of that you know da, 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 and and then they put in other lyrics into that beat this part is so nice as well with uh rima coming in with I say again with a slightly different variation of uh, uh, this line that was in the first verse. Her earrings. Oh, I love this part. Oh, this was the part in the MV that was so cool. It was that mirror part where they uh, touch hands and then they go through a few uh, uh, screens and and they did the flippy sequencing thing which they did which they are doing it here wow it's so cool to see it live Kobaya. The vocals is so good. So uh, one big thing is that uh, for uh, Paradise, they put the two strongest vocals in the chorus. So it makes the chorus even more uh, memorable uh, because that's like the build up to the chorus where it's Paradise already. Mm, okay. Wow, I love this part with the power, they are just coming up like that. This part was good also, like... Da, 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 da. Uh, and that part I like as well. The da, 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 da. It has bits of asset like uh, uh there was this uh, Japanese uh, uh group that I used to like a lot, uh the brilliant green and, and that ending part gives me that feel like the da, 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 da. that's like it's like uh you get that J uh rock part in, in J pop, which I think is uh uh which I like a uh, which I like to listen to and then I found it here in the song as well for Paradise. Just saying. Wow, this is so cool. Love it. Ah. Okay, so we have uh, seen their first uh, live performance for Paradise Needs You. Uh, I'm, I've been wanting to see the live performance uh, ever since I listened to the song and I found that I liked it a lot. And uh, it warms uh, my heart to see that the live performance the live performance is like so good as well. I said again, it's not that the choreo is very, very complicated and all, but I think that uh, Nizu and this song, they fit very well and, pa and Paradise and the way that the whole song was set up is, uh, it, it just suits all the, the parts and uh, that makes a beautiful product, which is um, the song itself. Okay, so uh, let's get to one or two parts that I like the most and then we can end the reaction. Um, uh, one big thing is that I do like to see Ayaka here as well uh, because sometimes as said uh, in the MV, she kind of get lost in all the transitions. Uh, it's nice that we get to see her because she, she, she is one of the obvious visuals in, in the group. Uh, another big thing is that uh, uh, Riku and I realized that her hair was not uh, pink or purple. It was actually back to being blonde. So that kind of got me thinking a little bit. Is it uh, for the Korean debut that is uh, coming out soon? Actually, I'm not sure how soon also. And we get Ryo here. Uh, she didn't get to show much of a dancing. Well, this is not much of like a big choreo song. But there's a lot of like pretty movements and the uh, formation changes and stuff. And uh, 
what else can we say? But uh, Lida Marco is just awesome. Yeah, she her her smile, her that radiant smile is uh, in this song is very evident, and uh, it's just yeah. Actually, this song you didn't say too much. You just enjoy it, I guess. I've been listening to this song uh, like in the mor- in the mornings before I start my 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 workflow, and I realized that it oh, I love this one, and I realized that it just uh makes me feel very positive for the whole day, which is awesome. And the drums and the guitar, yeah, this is like really like a like a okay, it's not like slow rock, but it's like very light rock. Da, 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 da. So this Mifi, I just reacted to a uh, Nizio's uh, Paradise uh, at the Music Fair 2023, one of their first live performances for uh, Paradise. I hope you enjoyed it as well. As again, uh, like, comment, subscribe down below for more uh, Nizio uh, content on HQ and for um, other great music and uh, great content as well. You can always uh, check out our playlist and our uh, hundreds of videos. Uh, um, that is okay maybe not hundreds it's kind of like hundreds because it's at least like 200 plus 300 so you can just take a look through and uh, there might be something else that you like as as well so and it's always uh, packed with our detailed uh, uh, reactions which uh, some of you might like or might not like go Maya uh, okay so as I said again uh, I'll see you again in the next one outro do 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 and I love the hop, that, that li- little hop. Okay, uh, take care. Bye bye.